What's up, motherfuckers? This is JBlaze06 here, and I just got my shipment for the PS4 and the PS camera. Hope you motherfuckers are ready for this shit. This is about to get real! Black Oni. I ain't no box cutters. Fuck a box cutter. Bam! PS4! Uh! Now I got my box cutter. Fuck yeah! I'm excited. Uh, camera first. Camera first. Get the small thing out the way first. We have our camera. Alright, yeah. There we go. I lied, that's not. They didn't do anything. Come on, get off. All right, cool. And here goes the PlayStation Eye. I've used this a little bit already, and I can say that it's pretty cool. I've done a little bit of live streaming. No one was watching the stream. I was just doing it as a test. Uh, but it comes in pretty good and this is the connector. This is what you'll use to connect to the PS4 at the back and This is how you'll connect the PS4 uh, Camera to the stand that comes in there. You gotta take that little piece off first um, after you've taken that piece off you'll Connect that first part at the very bottom. It'll click into place. You'll hear the click in just a second There you are and then you'll make sure that's lined up with the adhesive, and then there you have it. Here we have the PlayStation box. It just opens up really easily. Make sure you guys can see all that good stuff. We have, of course, the documentation. This is all standard. I'm just gonna put this right over here. Quick start guide. More standard documentation. This box, which has PlayStation 4 controller. You guys probably already saw my impressions of the PlayStation 4 cam uh, controller. I'm a really big fan of it. A whole bunch of cables in here. This is an HDMI cable. This is the headset that it comes with. I just learned that I can actually use my Astro A40s as a way of voice communication, so I will be doing that. These are the Black Oni branded uh, Astro A40s. There will eventually be a link so that you can actually purchase this from me. Um, right now, you can't do that, but um, if you all guys are interested in getting some tags like these, you let me know. This is a micro USB cable to use for the PS4 controller, and this is a power cord. And there's no power brick, so that's amazing that they were able to pack all this beauty into one small package. And now the thing we've all been waiting for. I hope you guys are ready. I'll place this box right here. And as the title of the video su suggests, I will be removing the hard drive and putting in a one terabyte. Oh man, this looks so much better in person. I mean, it already looked beautiful online, but in person it's just, it's really sexy. This is the power button right here, and then below that is the eject button. Right in here is a disc tray, and then these are two USBs. And then the side, the back, this is where all the ports are and the ventilation. Okay, so if you are thinking about removing the hard drive, you're gonna need a few components. You're gonna need a USB. Uh, it has to have at least one gig. This has literally one gig on it. So at least one gig, because the patch is like 900 uh, megabytes. You'll also need an external hard drive. I'm going from 500 gigs to one terabyte. That's 1,000 gigabytes. 7,200 RPM, 32 megabyte uh, cache. And if you wanna use the hard drive that is inside of the PS4, uh, for something else, I, I got the Sabrin, um case for the hard drive, so I'm just going to use that hard drive that's in there uh, as an external hard drive for my computer and for the PS4 if they ever add support for that. So I got both of these from Amazon. They were both pretty cheap. Um, there will be 
a link in the description down below, uh, right below that like button. So make sure you guys click that like button um, and check out the link so you can get you can get the most out of your PS4 experience. So for this part, there is only one screw you need to take out from here directly. It is this screw right on the top left of the console. And so the screw has been removed. I want you guys to try to get a good look at that. You can see the logo, the, the square, circle, X and triangle. It's all upside down now. There we go. It just slides right out. You can see there are a bunch of screws on the sides that I have to make sure I get rid of. You know why this is giving me a hard time right now? There goes one screw. Just gonna... There we go. And so you'll notice when you're unscrewing it, it's gonna take a little bit of effort to get it out of there at first, but all will be well once you actually hit it out. You'll hear kind of like a, kind of a snapping sound. Just like that. Maybe it's not supposed to make that sound, I don't know. These are very stubborn. going on I can't get this last screw out what the fuck? okay once you get all of the screws out all you gotta do is slide that up you put that to the side you open up your new hard drive and make sure that's like that so don't get rid of this plastic you're gonna use this um, for the hard drive that you just took out that just slides right there fits like a freaking glove and now we got to put the screws back in make sure of course this is the tag is facing out and the this connector right here is facing outwards as well because um, if you try to put it the other way it's just not gonna work and the last screw and this is the one that was giving me the most trouble I just changed where it was oh it fell okay this is what it should look like when it's done. And then you're just gonna slide this right back where you found it. Make sure it's nice and snug. Take this that was in there originally, the one with the logo, the, not the logos, the icons for a circle, square, X, and triangle. You're gonna screw that back in there like so. And you wanna make sure it's not too, too tight, but you don't want it moving around at all. And look at that. And that's how you actually install the hard drive. All right, that is on there nice and snug. My beautiful PS4 is in front of you, in front of me. And I am now going to take this and uh, plug this in. And so, on that USB thumb drive, you have to go to your computer, make sure it's formatted. That way there's no information on there or just delete everything. That's just fine too. And you have to make a folder called PS4 in all caps. And within that folder, you make another folder called update in all caps. And once you've done that, you can put the download from PlayStation.com. Uh, you can get a download directly from there. There should be a link either in the description or just Google. You download that to the stick. You make sure it's on there, you plug that in, and then you hold your finger on the PlayStation power button uh, for about seven seconds. You'll hear it beep once when you put your finger on it, and then it'll beep another time, and that will be the time where you will have to let go after it beeps again. It's gonna be booting into safe mode. So at the very bottom of that, you're gonna see an option for reinstall system software. You're gonna click that, uh, it's going to say at first initialize PS4, then in parentheses reinstall system software. So you're going to make sure you click on that. Um, and once you do that, it'll take you to the steps to get to the next part. And from there, it should be smooth sailing. What I will say is this. 
My PS4 unit was defective. I've been on the phone with Sony today. Uh, I, I was on the phone with them you know, on the day of launch and I couldn't get through so the day after I was on the phone with them I was telling them the situation I met you know, a very nice man who, who you know, told me all the things I could do and I've already done all the things he did but you know, for the situation I did it anyway and I was still having the issues with my PS4 uh, not working properly I, I said in the podcast exactly what happened so I won't go into too much detail but basically my PS4 shuts off on its own it crashes and then it doesn't turn itself back on, it just stays off. I try to turn it back on and then it starts blinking blue. So the, the lights are, just, the, the blue light of death, people like to call it, it's basically that system malfunction. So every time I've gotten on, it has been amazing. It has been a beautiful, wonderful experience. But since I can't play right now, it hasn't been. So I have to wait for someone to send me a box that I can then send to them so that they can service my console, which most likely means looking at it and saying, hey, nothing looks like it's bad here, we're gonna send it right back. They might not even end up doing anything with the console. I digress. This video is supposed to be about how to upgrade your hard drive, so if you found this video helpful, please press the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, even though the YouTube comment section is just horrendous right now. Um, Sony execs, I still haven't gotten my verification email uh, letting me know what my instructions are from here on out. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I was told I would get an email, and I'm assuming the person I talked to did not have the email written down correctly, which is not his fault. There's a lot going on today and yesterday, but I haven't gotten the email yet, so hopefully all goes well. Um, I will keep you guys, you know, subscribers, viewers, posted on what happens. If you want to see what, what happens from here on out, just make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be posting more about this. Um, I, I'm so... I've been trying to be a really good sport about this. I've been anticipating the launch of this console for a very long time and I'm really disappointed in the, at the situation. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Game on. Jay Blaze out.